Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to installment of Scott Selections here for Monday, April 3rd. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in hockey with the Penguins win regulation at minus 140 on DraftKings. Really never in doubt, Penguins led 3-0 after two periods. Philly made a little bit of a game of it for maybe a couple minutes as it ended up becoming 3-2. But Pittsburgh scored an empty netter as they won the game 4-2. So nice winner for us for the winner here on Monday. And for today's play of the day, going to pivot to college basketball as it will be the final game of the season as we are up to the national title game between San Diego State and UConn, which is taking place at around 9.20 p.m. Eastern time. And for this matchup, we're going to take the favorite in this one. We're going to take UConn minus 7 at minus 110 on Caesars. Time recording of midnight Eastern time. Coverings why we're going to take UConn to win this game comfortably. First reason, shopping around minus 7 is a great deal, as every other book has UConn minus 7.5. So you're saving half a point, no questions asked, which I gladly do every time. But to look at UConn so far in this tournament, it has been one of the most dominating runs by any team in the tournament's history, as UConn has won each of its first five tournament games by at least 13 points. Plus, if you want to go through the Ken Palm numbers, UConn is ahead in a lot of categories, especially in num- in overall efficiency margin, as UConn ranks first in overall efficiency margin, according to Ken Palm, while San Diego State ranks 14th, and UConn is roughly nine points higher than San Diego State. So these teams are really not that close in overall efficiency, and I do think as a result, UConn should look like the much more dominant team in this matchup. Plus, I'll get some specific numbers, according to Ken Palm. UConn does rank third in offensive rating, according to Ken Palm, while San Diego State ranks 68th. Really just a serious problem with San Diego State, despite making it to the title game in a Cinderella-type fashion. They really have a hard time scoring, and the shooting has really not been that great for this team. The three-point shooting woke up a little bit there in the Final Four game against FAU, but the point is I do think UConn just has a lot of weapons, and I do think as a result they should be able to get baskets more easily over the course of these 40 minutes. Plus, look at the actual rebounding numbers for these teams. UConn ranks second in the nation in rebounding rate, while San Diego State ranks 32nd. That's a big reason why San Diego State was able to come back and beat FAU after digging themselves a bit of a hole at halftime. They dominated the glass down the stretch, and they were also able to get to the foul line a lot with some of those offensive rebounds. I don't think they'll be that fortunate in this game because UConn has some really good options at center, whether it's going to be Sunago, whether it's going to be clinging off the bench. The point is I think that UConn's really better equipped to handle the physicality that San Diego State has as opposed to FAU. And I do think that UConn, as a result, should do very well on the glass in this game. But if you want to just look at the overall talent from these teams, it kind of reminds me a little bit. It's not the exact same thing, but it's a little bit like that Georgia TCU final that we saw earlier this year in college football, where you have a Cinderella story from a team that you weren't exactly expecting to make a deep run at all against one of the most talented teams in the country. Now, I know UConn isn't as great or the overall uh, ceiling of this team wasn't as high as Georgia's entering the college football title game. But the point is, you're looking at the overall roster, and UConn is better at basically every position. They're the deeper team. They're the more talented team with more five five or four-star recruits. And based on how dominant they've been in this, in this tournament in particular, I do think San Diego State's going to struggle to fully compete in this game since UConn really doesn't have many, if any, flaws. You're looking at how many options they have in the front court. I mentioned Sunigo and Klingon. They can hold their own. They have the guard play with Hawkins and with Newton. They also have Caravan, who's a solid three-point shooter. Also have Jackson, who's kind of a Swiss Army knife there offensively. The issue with San Diego State is the fact that I mentioned before they aren't exactly great at shooting as they're shooting roughly 35% as a team from three. They only have one player averaging more than 10 points per game. And I do think that if Bradley ends up struggling, San Diego State doesn't exactly have many backup plans offensively. Now, Bradley has kind of gotten benched here and there in this event, and they've managed to find ways to advance. The problem is offensively, they really have had a hard time of beating up on some pretty good defenses, and I think as a result, you'll see UConn really shut the door on this team, which is why San Diego State's team total for this game is around 62 and a half. But you're looking at the numbers here, scored 72 against FAU, good win there, even though FAU was also a bit of a Cinderella story, scored 57 points against Creighton, scored 71 against Alabama, that's a pretty good win there, beat Furman comfortably, and scored 63 against Charleston. I'm just skeptical of this team's offense, and I think that you'll end up seeing UConn really dominate both ends of the floor in route to a nice, easy win. So play that once again here for Monday, April 3rd is going to be on UConn, minus the 7 at minus 110 on Caesars. Bye, everyone.